Hello, I'm Alex from Music Lester at the Coke with members of Joe's band. Can you introduce yourself? My name's Tom. My name's Chris, I play guitar. He plays bass. Yeah, uh, Mitch. Mitch. Uh, Ellis, play guitar. I'm Pete and I play drums. Shoot. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about how the band started? Oh, okay. Um, so, the band started when I was watching Jules Holland and there was a band on there called Shame. And I was like, oh, I really want to be in a band like this, basically. Um, so I messaged all of these. Well, some of these, a few more came along the way. And then that was it. We uh, started from that. That's why we're called Jules, because we watched Jules Holland. Yeah, inspiration from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. And it's also Samuel L. Jackson's real name. In uh, the Pulp Fiction. Yeah, in Pulp Fiction. Yeah. Pulp Fiction, yeah. So all of your thoughts are quite political. Can you tell me a little bit more about the message behind them? Go on. Oh, to be fair, you, you write the lyrics, but uh, I, I do think we all feel quite strongly about like a lot of the stuff that's going on in the world today. And I, I feel like we've all got quite a similar, I don't know, yeah. ideology. We've got, uh, yeah. Is that even the right word? No, that is the right <laughs> word. Yeah. We've got like a nice meeting place politically, I think. And we don't want to shove it down people's throats, but it's nice to get a couple of digs in there. I like doing that. I think so, yeah. yeah. You do that really well. Yeah, thanks. So how come that Piers Morgan became kind of an anti-hero of Good Morning Britain? <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Uh, have you heard him speak? <laughs> <laughs> what was it? It was, um, he was saying something about, our oh, people with mental health issues who just grow up. Or that man up, it. I think he said. That man up, yeah, he said, oh, what's this? what happened to uh, just being a strong man or being a strong woman or whatever? And he said, oh, you all need to just man up. And that was annoying. I th yeah, I think the it the just... the worst kind of person going, like, that's just not what you want ever, really. And it's not what you want... Like to put that message out there, just to everyone. Really, that's like such a big show that a lot of people watch. What an awful thing to say! It's disgusting. I hate him. I cannot stand him. <laughs> I quite like. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, which one of your songs is your favourite so far? Oh, uh, I reckon we've got different Can we do one each? <laughs> you got to do, do it quick. Right, Dream World. I really like Hysterical Starving Naked. Yeah, I'm going to agree with that. Hysterical Starving Naked, maybe almost famous. Uh, definitely almost famous. What he said. <laughs> <laughs> so I've also heard that you've been recording something recently. Can you tell me more about it? Have you got anything coming up, any releases? Yeah, so we've been recording in Leeds all week with Bob Cooper. Uh, really nice guy. Best I hope he watches this because he'll oh, really? <laughs> shout about it. He's a lovely bloke. Um, so release-wise, um, we're going to dish it out a bit, hope to hear back. But if, if we're not successful in, for whatever reason, then we'll stick it out in maybe October. Something like that. Maybe a single. Pete yeah. looks annoyed at that. I'm fearing that I've said something <laughs> wrong. Pete, take it. No, I'm not annoyed. Uh, yeah, we recorded with Bob Cooper <laughs> this week. Um, we're not too sure on what's going to happen. Um, we'd, ideally, we'd like to release it like through someone. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we're going to like shop about a little bit before we release it properly. Maybe and you two should start a record label. Yeah. yeah. That'd be great. That might help us a lot along the way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I think yeah, so... Yeah, we've not decided yet, but... Yeah, so talking about the new staff, have you got any gigs coming up? Anything interesting? Oh, we yeah. Next gig is yeah. Boardmasters. Yeah. Playing yeah. Boardmasters Festival in Nuku. Uh, 8th of October? 8th of August, August, sorry. Yeah. 8th of August. Around it. We're playing on the Friday afternoon. Yeah, uh, we're excited for that, ain't we? Because like, there's a lot of big artists there. I mean, we're only playing like a tiny stage. It's not even on the website or anything, but it's nice to be... I think we're next to like Georgia Smith yeah, on the on website. The website. Really <laughs> good, yeah. That's really quite, good. Yeah, it's quite yeah, nice. Yeah, we like it. Apart from that, we get to see some of our greatest influences and play at the same festival as them, which is just brilliant for us, yeah. to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The like yeah. idols are there. I think Swaves are there, the murder capital. Yeah, great, can't that's wait. That's exactly what we want. Really. Yeah, that's yeah. If you could support like, any band ever, which one would it be? Oh, no, no. Can we do one each? Yeah, <laughs> um, if you could support any, any band ever. Okay. I'd probably say... Shame, shame. Yeah, I'd say shame as well, actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah, shame are my favourite band. <laughs> um, I idols or shame, they're both like massive influences to us. But yeah, they all like dive or something like that. It'd be yeah, incredible. that'd be cool. Incredible. Yeah. Definitely idols or shame. Parquet courts. Oh, oh yeah. that'd yeah. be Parquet courts. Great are incredible. Man. That'd be so sick. Yeah. And later on, we're going to record one of your songs. Can you introduce it to us? Uh, yeah, it's a new one off our EP that's coming out soon. It's called Hysterical Starving Naked. And we're
Thank you.